Hey guys, how's it going? So today Benjamin and I are out just doing a few little decorating projects. We're going to tackle this pot where I had a Japanese maple. You know, the top died out of it and then I let it go that whole season and then all of last season trying to recuperate it and it never really made much of a recovery. It kind of kept dying down <laughs> further and further. So we decided it was time for it to go. So now I've got this really nice big empty pot. So we went and picked up a really fun Christmas tree. It'd be cute, right? Here on the two sides. That's very cute. Okay. I think that those are going to be going inside, dude, because I don't know that those will do real well out in the weather. Because see, they have like paper. I think we'll put those in the entryway. What do you think? On the table with some lights and greens. Mm -hmm. We can leave them here for now, though. I do like the color they add. So this is the area here right by our back kitchen door and it looks a little bit bare just because you know we're used to having clematis on these trellises which they're beautiful even without anything on them uh, but you know when you're used to seeing even just branches in this pot it looks just kind of empty we've really really loved this little arrangement on the table it's done really well the trees have fallen over one time in the wind but that's all so far so we've got this, I don't know, it's maybe between five and six foot noble fir right here. We just picked this up at my parents' garden center this morning. And I thought we could just kind of nest it down in the pot and put some, what do you think, colorful lights, Benjamin? Yeah. You wanna put big colorful lights in it? We gotta go find them in the barn. Are they in the barn? Yep, they're up in the loft. Would it be too much if I put reeds on the barn? I mean, they've got the whole thing outlined with white twinkle lights and then the shutters are outlined with red. But I thought it'd be cute to like put a wreath above each light or around each light or something. I don't know. Okay, let's go up to the loft, Benjamin. See what we got up here. Look, Benjamin. Big ones. Are yeah. You going to turn on? Yeah. Do you want me to see what they look like? Come on, dude. Let's take them into the root cellar and I'll plug them in for you. Okay. You want to turn off the light? Uh. Oh. Nope, they're not going on. Well, darn, I hope that these lights aren't dead. I've had these for so many years, it wouldn't surprise me if they were done. Okay, so there's another strand though. Let's see if this one works. Nope, it could be the plug-in, but let's try these newer lights. You ready? <gasps> oh, those look good, huh? Yeah? Okay, well, my old ones just aren't working then, so let's see if we can find more strands of this kind. Yeah, you see all those doors. Oh, ho, ho. so we've got those, and then we've got these right here, so we should be good to go. Um, let me think about where the closest, the closest plug-in is right around by the stairs. So I don't think we'll need a super long extension cord. This would probably do it. Okay, so you want to carry the camera? We're going to build some lights here, so here's some lights what i usually have here so i have lights here you know what i'm also going to grab a stake because i think if we drive a stake down the center of that pot it might help add a little bit of extra stability something like yeah like this might help a bit okay so i'm going to take this stake and just drive it right down into the center of this container and this whole thing once it gets cold enough will freeze i'll put a little water in there once the tree is set in there um you know what, maybe I'll put the tree in first and then oh, put the yeah. stake in. I don't know. You know what, let's just get this done and then I'll show you what it looks like in the end. I put this one in. <gasps> Ooh, yep, they work. <laughs> My goodness, Benjamin, it looks so good. Yes, yes, yes. Do you love it? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, you guys, this is just so classic looking. I can't wait to show you what it looks like at night. Of course, when you get up to the skinny part of the tree, it gets kind of hard to hide the cords, but that doesn't really matter. I mean, I have the star zip tied up there. It really just matters what it looks like at night. And it is looking so good. I used a total of three strands in this tree and it'll look good from all different angles. So over here, we go this direction, you can see a bunch of lights. Maybe better in real life. I don't know, in the camera it looks like there's... Oh, there we go. Oh, is that weird? They just like appeared. 
anyway. <laughs> It looks good from all angles. So now we're gonna go do pretty much the same thing in the wicker containers up front that we just cleaned out. Except for these are smaller trees and I wanna do uh, white lights in them, I think, because Aaron just put some big white deer out and they're so pretty. And I'll probably do white lights on the, well, let's go up there, I'll show you. Can you see those deer? Probably not very well at the moment, but they're beautiful. They're like, five to six feet is what they're supposed to be, I think. The doe is a little smaller. You can see her here. I love that they're black metal instead of the white metal. This one looks spectacular at night. And then the red point maple right here is floral wrapped on the bottom and then uh, round and around up at the top there with multicolored lights. So here's what I'm thinking. Two trees in these pots with white lights. And then up here on the porch, we'll make use of these branches that we lit for fall. Do you remember these? So we had to move this one over because I needed to get something in the sun porch the other day. So we'll move this one back. And I think what we'll do is just pop all of the fall leaves off. I don't think, I think we can either cut them off or pop them off like that. And we're just gonna use the branch just kind of bare with lights on it. And I think it'll be just fine. We'll need to swap the wreath and the pillows up here, but I've just been really enjoying the simplicity. I also did pick up a little bit of garland to go around the door. I'm not looking to get it all done today. In fact, we're just kind of working on things as it makes sense. And as we pick up things, instead of like making over one area all at the same time, just approaching things a little bit differently this winter. And I'm really enjoying it. It almost feels more relaxed that way. I think we're gonna need a tiny bit more soil in these containers too to help anchor the trees in. So I'll grab some of that as well. Let's yeah. go get our supplies, bud. Okay, couple of bags of potting soil to fill in around the trunks of the trees. Couple of extension cords. Still haven't cleaned my gator out from my project the other day. You know how it goes. the trees in the containers and I think they are so pretty. They look so natural in those brown wicker pots. I just love it. Now I just realized that we do not have enough warm white lights on green strands, on green wire to get these trees lit. So I think because the house is all lit with white lights, Maybe we'll just do big colorful lights because we do have those and that way we don't have to go buy anything extra. And I think that that would be extra festive looking to have big bulbs up here too. And we do have four strands left of the multis. So that's kind of perfect, two per tree. Electricity is here. So I can run a cord to this one. And then I think what I'll have to do is maybe run a white extension cord, like tuck it right at the back of this stair and down. And then I can run my green one to the tree. Yeah, and as I'm thinking about it too, we'll have the white lights from these trees up here as well, and possibly white lights in the garland, because I do have I do have a couple strands of white lights. It just didn't have enough for the trees. I think it would have taken two or three strands to light these per tree to have them really bright. All right, so now let's just get this part done. Welcome. What I'm you doing? Back here. I'm gonna be back here. So, so, so it's game clean and new. Okay. Thanks, dude. First off, these trees are so cute. I can't wait to see what they look like at night, and I can't wait to show you what they're gonna look like at night because I can just envision it. They're just so sweet. So I just simply like twisted the lights around the outside. I didn't really like try hard to get them floral wrapped or in any kind of like pattern. I don't know that you can do that with these on trees like this. This one had a little bit more of an open shape, which was kind of nice. It's like nicely layered. 
I wish we could grow noble firs here. We can't. They're so gorgeous. So as we go up onto the front porch, there's a few changes. First off, I clipped all the leaves off of the lit branches in the containers. They're sitting right here. I need to put them in a baggie and save them for next year. And then I just popped some greens around the base. So there's some noble fir tips, incense cedar, and princess pine that I picked up at the garden center this morning. And I went and, and cut some red twig dogwood out of our own garden uh, because I felt like the branch without the autumn leaves looked a little bit scant. So it was kind of helpful to pop a few more branches in there. And then I put the cardinals in there. I don't know if I'll keep them, but they look kind of pretty with the red wreath. And I have bird pillows up here, which is kind of perfect. So here's the second one here. We've got the greens, the lit branch. So that'll still be really beautiful and sparkly at night. And then this wreath right here, I've had for a long time. <laughs> I, don't, I think I might've bought it when we were at our townhouse but I really think it's pretty and it's striking. Um, and I've had that box with green wreath up here for so long, it's nice to have a change. And then this is just that pre-made garland that you pick up at Home Depot. Um, I cut it because I didn't want it to go all the way down. Okay, you're gonna see my reflection in the door. <laughs> I didn't want it to go all the way down and kind of like take away from the greens in the pot. I kind of wanted things to be separate. Um, and so, yeah, I just cut it. And then I put the extra piece right over here on top really easy this bird i don't know what kind of bird that is on a magnolia a little peace pillow and then we've got the bird with the rose hips possibly crab apple no rose hips and then the red mary pillow i'm gonna see if i can scrounge up another red pillow for here i feel like it'd be nice to have red over here as well and as you look this way you can see the pine cone swags that we just made which look really pretty up here and then you know of course with the red ribbon just having kind of that red throughout is kind of nice and then into the front sun porch here i was thinking i was going to do a christmas tree in here but i don't know if i will i might just twist some fairy lights around some of these cypress trees in here i think that would be equally as beautiful and sparkly and it just Kind of looks fresh in here with the plants. That green, that bright green, I love it. You can see we're almost, sun's almost down. In past years, I have put garland on these railings, which are custom, you guys. We get asked that every time I show these. The previous owners had a local artist make these and they are gorgeous. I love them. We've considered having him make a matching pair for the back shade porch as well maybe maybe one day we'll do that but anyway i think i'm gonna leave these garland less because i like to see the detail and i just like the simplicity up there i think it looks really nice so you may or may not see me add to this display i don't know i still have a lot of window boxes and stuff to do over here so anyway lots of fun stuff going on and that is it for today's project super thrilled with the trees and containers i mean how easy is that just pop a tree in there twist a couple of strands of lights around it and you've got yourself a really sweet arrangement without needing a bunch of things you know when you do the branches and the greens and pine cones and all of that there's a lot more a lot more ingredients involved than just like a single tree like that. So it's quite fun. I had actually considered buying larger trees and just kind of topping them and using the tops and containers and then kind of shaving all of the bottom branches off and using them in my other containers. Um, but I just found these like perfect sized ones and so I just decided to go with it. We do have several more projects like this coming up, just little bits here and there that I'll be working on. It's just kind of fun to tackle it that way. I mean, I had fully intended on buying a welcome mat. I didn't actually intend on doing the containers or any of that today um, but I'm just kind of letting things happen as they happen I used to try to like I used to almost stress about having all of the ingredients to my project together on that specific day and then like doing it from start to finish that day and now I don't really feel that I feel like let's just do things as they naturally happen and maybe I won't find a mat I like for Christmas this year maybe I'll get a new one for spring who knows <laughs> I don't know. I just hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you're having a great start to your holiday season. I guess your Christmas season, it's been holidays for a while. Thanksgiving and stuff. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. All right, here is the first tree we put together. Isn't that so cute? It just lights up this corner beautifully. I love it. Looks really good with our little centerpiece as well. All right, let's head up front. And here are the other two. Aren't they so sweet? I just absolutely love them. These big lights are just so happy and bright. And then the porch looks pretty too. I like the lit branches here. Now we usually have the carriage light on 
to keep it bright brighter. If I did another tree, like maybe if I did one right in here, which I still could do that, that would be really pretty. We might be able to turn the carriage light off, but it looks kind of cozy to have that there. You can see I haven't picked up my fall leaves yet. They look quite pretty around that picture. You can see the tree inside of our foyer right there, the nutcracker tree. Really loving it.